Hello. I'm Blossom. Answer carefully, and maybe we can save your reputation. Ex employee of the Sea Witch Ursula. What's it like working for Ursula? Um, it. Working for Ursula was. It was strange. Um, I enjoyed the singing and dancing. She was actually the only person I could we I could get a job with. She actually liked my audition, and it, you know we had a lot of good times. But you know it was rough. Some of the things we were asked to do. Um, she had a thing for murder and kidnapping, and you know it. It wasn't all sunshine and roses. And do you feel like you were a victim? Sometimes I I do feel like I I'm a victim. I mean, she was very manipulative. She um, definitely forced some stuff upon us. Um, the stuff stuff going on in that cauldron it has an effect on you and sometimes you can't you can't help yourself i mean it changed my voice um i maybe it ruined my life i'm not sure i um sometimes yes i do sometimes feel like i was a victim ursula you know, if we didn't follow what she said, we probably would have ended up in in the Garden of Souls, to be to be honest. And there was always that sort of threat that felt like it was hanging over our heads, so we did what she said. But she was also a lot of fun with her dances, so sometimes we did it a little a little happily because we knew if if you know, um if we just did what she said, if we got rid of Triton and Ariel, and then we would, you know, we were promised after we did our job, we would get to, to just perform. Uh, we would probably get to go to Broadway or on the road. You know, the trio was supposed to be the dream team. It, we were gonna make it big after we got rid of Triton. Because with Ursula having his powers, we could have done anything, but you know, she's, she's gone now, and I guess I'm free now to make my own choices, and I don't, I don't even know. Would you have done those things without Ursula? I don't think I would have done those things if it wasn't for her, no, I, I never wanted to be a kidnapper. I never wanted to hurt children. I never... I wanted to perform. And Ursula was the only person who believed in me. But, you know, if I wanted to perform with her, if I wanted to do the singing and dancing, I had... I, I had to do the kidnapping and killing too, and... It was hard, and... Sometimes I enjoyed it. I don't know why, but Ursula just, she made everything so fun. So what would you say um, were your motives? My motives, I, I wanted rid of Triton and Ariel. Because once I did that, we could take the show on the road. That's what she always promised, promised us. Like I said, my motives was was strictly performance driven. I I just wanted to be a star. And and King Triton and Princess Ariel were in the way of that. And that those were my only motives and I I wasn't forced. I and I was forced to do a lot of things that are very regrettable. I, I was, I was an accomplice in the murder of, of the queen, of Triton's wife. Um, that, 
that was we had a really good song before before that one you know that was the, that was the big number to sing this song and um, then we killed her and and then her soul was really happy and and it was it was a good day no no don't um, say uh, that and, yeah do um, you renounce Ursula renounce renounce Ursula no absolutely not that woman made me who I am today the things I did were awful but awful things sometimes make good people you know if I if Ursula believed in me so now I can believe in myself and without that I wouldn't be here today I I miss her stop incriminating yourself and I'm gonna go to prison for this, aren't I? Dang it. What are your plans moving forward? My plans for the future are, um, Jetsam and I are gonna, gonna take the show on the road, like Ursula always said we would. I don't know how we'll do it without her because she was really, you know, the glue to the team. She was really, she had the powerhouse vocals, and she was really something special. No. Oh, and I don't think we'll ever find that again in a boss. She was... I miss her. Um, I don't, we might be teaming up with some of the Murr sisters, maybe Arista or Aquata can help us. Um, I I just want to perform and Sebastian never gave me that opportunity. He wouldn't even let Fluffy. Sebastian wouldn't even let Jetsam and I audition and that's why we ended up with, with Ursula. And I'm not gonna go back to Sebastian and ask for a second chance. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna do this on my own and I'm gonna do this for Ursula. And I'm gonna make her proud. She's going to jail. She wants him. And I'm gonna do it from a jail cell because I just incriminated myself. And I'm not even sorry because if Ursula's dead, I might as well be, too. Why would you... I... Can we stop the interview? I... I can't do this right now. Hi, I'm Olivia Squizzle, and I recently got to play Flotsam in a production of The Little Mermaid, and it was just such a fun role. I kind of wanted to share it with you guys, because I've had a lot of thoughts and ideas of where Flotsam goes after after the show. And we've come up with a lot of different endings. Um, my buddy Jetsam and the girl played Arista, the girl played Aquata, the girl played Ursula. We, you know, we all talked about, you know, we had some funny conversations about Flotsam and Jetsam um, becoming performers and reenacting all of the Little Mermaid, just the two of them, because it would be funny. Or after Ursula dies, then I seduce Aquata, we kill off Triton, and then I'm ruler of the sea, because that would make... We kill off Triton, because that would make Aquata, you know, ruler of the sea, but then I'm actually ruling the sea. I win. Um, or there was a scenario when we end up working for Arista after. You know, there's a lot of ways I think our char my character could go after the show. And I thought <laughs> a weird celebrity interview where he incriminate where Flotsam incriminates him, she, they, self. Um, would be kind of funny. 
like Flotsam's PR manager is like, you got you gotta get out there, set the record straight, you gotta renounce Ursula. And Flotsam's like, no, I actually really miss her. And this is funny because this was not my Flotsam voice for the show, but like I can't even, I don't think I could do that for like that many. I don't think I can just improv monologues in my flotsam voice. Like, cause my lines were like, Oh, mistress of the deep, beauty of the bride, you should have seen it. All those merfolk yeah. singing Triton's praises and cursing your name, declaring. A national holiday. And then Ursula comes out as like, Holiday, my blood. And the girl who played Ursula, I'm not gonna lie, she is, she's an absolute boss. She is the queen. Um, and she, she deserves the most. Yes, this is my natural skin. No, I, no, I don't have makeup on. I was born like this. It's a birth defect. Some people are so insensitive. Yes, the the wheels on the bottom of my feet are attached. I cannot take them off. Well, no, I don't have green hair right now, but I used to. It actually stopped glowing green when I got away from the cauldron for a little bit. I don't know what was in there. Um, I think there is a possibility that that we we resurrect Ursula, I think. Actually, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta, got a thing. I just got an idea. Let me hit the road real quick. No, I'm not going. No, I'm not going to resurrect Ursula. I'll give you that idea. No, I'm not going to resurrect Ursula. What gave you that idea? So that's all for today. Whoa, where did that voice come from? That's all for today. That is all for today. That's all for this video. Enjoy your day. That's all for today. That's all for this. Enjoy your day.